Ladies and gentlemen, Keith from Arab Pair Autos. I've been getting a lot of uh, requests in emails and messages saying, hey, show me, teach me more about the door control modules in the Mercedes. So I'm going to hit you up with that video today. And uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave uh, comments down in the comment section if you have any questions. And let's get to the video. Alright ladies and gentlemen, key is in the ignition, <clears throat> position one, ignition is on, engine is not on. Uh, we're going to go into diagnose by saying OK. And we're going to go to bends. We're going to go down to 164 M class, that's my Mercedes ML350, yours may be different. Say OK. <clears throat> Gasoline engine. In this case it's the left hand and I just have the ML350 so I'm going to choose that. I'm going to go to manual select so that I can choose exactly which module I want and I'm going to scroll up because I'm going backwards I'm looking for the door DCM door control module and it's front left front right so we're going to choose the DCM door control module front left front right is very similar so we're going to say okay and once you're in this six uh, menu item you can check the control unit version let's do that real quick shows you the hardware and software status right then we're gonna say okay now we're gonna go down to read faults and I have some stored faults in here from the past supply voltage of control unit too low uh, component left outside mirror ambient lamp or LED lead has open circuits if you have a blown um, bulb in the turn um, fill your turn signal in the mirror it will tell you that um, left exterior mirror turn signal no signal from the component so I had an issue with my power window um, switch once upon a time I got that fixed um, same thing I had a power switch master switch over here so I had a broken switch that was stuck so the next one of the mirror adjustment switches is stuck so yeah I had a problem with that master um, a master module in the door got all those fixed so those are the errors I never cleared them um, you'd go down and you'd hit OK for clearing those but let's go into the actual values actual values is where you can actually see if you're getting power to the door and all that let's go through that real quick so your power to your door if you're having problems with your windows not going up or anything like that first thing you want to check is your supply voltage by saying OK and we have 12 point uh, 12 point one 12 point two volts so you're getting you're getting voltage I'm gonna say escape here go back out one we're gonna go down to your power window module and we're gonna say okay and it's gonna show you whether or not the window is at zero zero is closed um, front left uh, power window is normalized I have a video showing you how to normalize that the closing relay is not actuated so if you were to play around with the um, the switches open relay is closed closing relay is actuated and you get to see the positions of that window let's go to the next page thermal shut off a front left power window so you can actually um, activate deactivate your um, your defrost and that will show you so if you were to like hit the defrost button um, and in the winter time that's automatic on these cars it will show you if it's active or not left front power window switch I can mess around with the switch manual down automatic up all of that it shows you right there what's happening with your button so that's a nice way to check next page uh, you can also do the fright the, the fright the right front power window switches as well so you get to check all of that rear uh, right rear power left rear power uh, rear side windows child safety lock switch you get to check all of these things with your um, scanner let's go to the next page data set number power window parameters so you got 14 of those all right so if any of these switches weren't working this would tell you let's go back one 
that's for your power windows the exterior rear view mirrors let's go down to that say okay it's going to show you outside mirror adjustment rocker switch left right up down so that's when you're um that's when you're over here using the joystick um to check and to to play with that all right that's for the left see it's going to operate that's for the right that's for the up that's for the down so you get to check the joystick control uh, values let's go to the next page left outside mirror adjustment selector switch so that's when you're just selecting it so I just selected the right one now I selected the left one Selected the left one and the right one. This is the joystick selector. Left, right. So you select the left mirror. Then you can go left, right, up, down. Right mirror, left, right, up, down. Um, child safety lock switch that I showed you. You can check that. Mirrors, uh, windows, up and down. So the mirror heater is off. Outside mirror fold and switch. Um, so when you you can also make those mirrors fold in and out and check that automatic dimming mirror for your doors left exterior mirror turn on signal so if I put the signal on it's on I can do um, check the lamp as well so let's say escape Get out of that closing system so the closing system it will show you infrared signal for your key a lot of folks want to check their keys they're saying they're pushing the button the key isn't being recognized to open the door and this is a perfect way to check your keys um, to see whether or not the key is valid and if it's opening the door if it's a valid key you should see a signal registered here when you push that key fob Infrared signal from valid key. So let me try that. See, it said open central locking system. It just got active. Infrared. All right. Infrared signal from incorrect key. Convenient operation signal received. Close central locking. So if you were to activate the key, it would show you that I just unlocked it. So that's how you go through uh, the keys. Go back one, go down to the lamps. And the lamps, left exterior mirror turn signal. I'm going to put the key back in the ignition, put it on position one. I just put my signal on and it's saying left outside mirror ambient lamp is on. So I just did that. So that's the left side. Left front door entry. Left front door entry exit. So if I open the door, those lights come on. Left outside mirror ambient lamp is on. Switch elimination terminal is on. Left front door inside handle illumination is off left front door inside illumination for those that light up mine does not I don't have that feature go back one and then you can look at the actual values via the CAN bus and it shows you um, circuit 15 terminal 15 terminal 50, uh, 61 for messages and this is for real-time monitoring of your message bus. So you can see the rear SAM. Left front central lock-in is open. Car is unlocked. Um, left front central locking is closed. On-off ratio circuit, 19%. Right.
right front central locking is open. So the car is unlocked, right front central locking system. Um, it, it shows you the values there. Escape. Get back out of there. And I suggest you clear all fault memories. If you're having um, problems, clear it and see if they come back. I like to leave my values in memory because I have a channel that I use to diagnose and show you guys how to diagnose problems. And that's what the iCarSoft can do. It can help you see things that may appear to be broken, not working, signals, values of uh, voltages, etc. As always, everyone, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel if you find these videos helpful. What that does, it pushes my videos up in the search results so that other Mercedes owners, drivers, do-it-yourselfers can find them easier. Thanks and peace out.